guys, my name is Lacey of Spooky Lips and Fat Hips, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I am doubly excited because this video is awesome on two accounts. Number one, this video is the very first video in what I am going to be calling the palette series. I haven't really kept it a secret that I have a large eyeshadow palette collection, and on the one hand, you guys request so often to see my whole collection, and I get that and I want to share it with you guys, but on the other hand, I know people feel a ways about big eyeshadow collections, so this is like my happy medium. What I'm going to be doing, instead of just showing you point blank all of my collection, is to show you guys in like spurts, in different themes. So for instance, like best of purples, my favorite warm tone palettes, best of whatever brand. So yeah, like I said, this is the first of that because today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my top five favorite, probably more, eyeshadow palettes. The second reason why this is an awesome video is because this video is a collab with my friend Alex here on YouTube or her channel name, Alex the Alchemist. It was a no-brainer to ask Alex if she wanted to do this video collab with me because she is someone who also loves eyeshadow as much as I do. She has some of the best style that I've ever seen. She has just gorgeous makeup, gorgeous hair. She's kind of like more gothy like me. I don't know if she called herself gothy, but if you like the colorful kind of dark alternative makeup style like I have, you're definitely going to love Alex. She also is a small YouTube channel that doesn't feel like a small YouTube channel. She makes my favorite kind of videos to watch. She makes like what I consider like classic YouTube kind of videos like get ready with me, reviews, tags, tutorials. So if you're a tutorial lover, go to our channel. But then she also does talk videos, like talking videos kind of like how I do. She's very socially aware of the important things that I like to talk about on my channel. She is in college for theology. She's just like a super awesome person. And yeah, I've, I'm just so happy that she's in this club with me. Thank you, Alex. I will leave her channel down below and the link to her video down below so you can go check it out. I think if you like my channel, you're definitely going to like her. So definitely subscribe to Alex. But yeah, thank you again, Alex. And I'm excited to share my palettes with you guys in the format of this new series. Let us begin. I'm not going to be ranking these like 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. More so when I was like getting the my palettes together for this, like I went through my collection and I thought, my palettes are disappearing in front of me. What are the things I'm grabbing from? Like, what am I grabbing for to save before any other palette? And that's kind of where I started this. And then, given that little collection, I went even deeper and I'm like, out of this, someone has forced me to only keep five. What am I keeping? So that's kind of how I'm going about this. <laughs> Definitely hard decisions had to be made. But also it kind of like gave me a lot of insight on the kinds of things that I tend to like because I definitely noticed themes in all of my favorite palettes. But anyway, gonna share with you guys, like I said, this isn't like ranking because I really couldn't pick like a favorite out of all favorites, but I, I tried to clump them together the best I could. The absolute first thing that came to mind of like makeup's disappearing, you gotta save some. This might also be like cheating, but my sugar pill palette. The reason why I say this is cheating is because I picked all of these colors. If you don't know, Sugar Pill makes like my favorite colorful eyeshadow formula of all time and I had been trying to get these eyeshadows forever and then the stars had magically aligned where all of the colors that I had wanted were in stock at the same time. This is an extremely pricey palette though so I feel like I'm jumping around. Sugar Pill sells single eyeshadows. They sell them, you can get them in individual compacts, or you can get their pro palettes. You can get a 12 pan pro palette, like what I made for myself, or you can get a 6 pan pro palette, which is very recent. They just came out with a palette half the size. The palette itself is $10. Each individual shadow, mattes are $10, but I think they can range from anywhere from 10 to 12 if they're depending on the formula. I just got a bunch of mattes. This is the palette I made myself, so again, that's why I feel like it's kind of cheating. But I love this palette. This is my go-to. I'm doing a colorful look and I need something specific. Grab from palette, if that is an English sentence that makes sense. Like, for instance, if I want a really hot pink, this is the hot pink I'm going to grab. I will link below the shadow names of all of my shadows. 
But there's like a caveat to this. Something weird is happening with Sugar Bell right now. So I said before, I had always wanted these and they were very hard to get. Sugar Pill kind of has this reputation of being harder to get because not all of their colors are at stock at the same time. They're very notorious for having things out of stock for a long time. And currently right now, they've taken a lot of their like classic colors off of their website. And the rumor is from what you guys have told me that they lost the manufacturer and they're trying to find a new manufacturer for like certain formula that they have. I can neither confirm nor deny. But I will say, you would have to rip this out of my cold dead hands. I love my Sugar Pill palette. It cost $120. And to me, it's worth every damn cent. And I think if you like colorful makeup, you will love Sugar Pill too. If you have not tried them already. Worth all of the YouTube hype. The next palette that was kind of a no-brainer for me was the Venus 2 palette from Lime Crime. I said in my like epic haul video that I get that a lot of people don't like Lime Crime and it's totally fine if you don't. I'm going to try to get through this palette quickly for that reason. But like I said, absolute no-brainer. Like this is a favorite palette of mine. This is the palette that I reach for if I want to do, if I'm doing my makeup but I have no idea what to do. I just know I want to look like a badass. My ring light is, so, I'm struggling with my lighting so bad lately. My ring light is totally blowing out these colors. But first of all, this has the best mustard shade that I've ever been able to find in my life. This is the only mustard shade that shows up mustard. It doesn't get all weird. It doesn't oxidize. It doesn't do anything like funny like other mustard shades that I've got my hands on. This orange is fantastic. I love this blue. It has like a classic blue brown in it that used to be really special. Now everyone does it. Even like this galaxy shimmery sparkle shade, I love so much. These kind of almost look like shades that don't make sense together, but I love this. And I really love earth tones is what this palette has made me realize. I love deep greens, rich reddish tone browns. I love the mustard yellow. I've never made a bad eye look with this palette. I absolutely love it. And the packaging is just, I love this palette. I love it so much. This next one was one where it's like, it kind of surprised me that in my mythical scenario of all my makeup's disappearing, this is a palette that I grabbed first before other things. But, like, it, it makes sense. Honestly, it makes sense. This is the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette, and I even kept the pretty sleeve that it comes in, and I never keep the packaging for makeup. I realize this packaging is not good with the ring light, so I'm gonna get through it. This is a very hyped palette on YouTube, and for very good reason. It's also extremely neutral, and I... That's, I think, what surprised me is that out of all of the neutral palettes in the land, this is the one that I wanted to keep. And there's just something, like, so special about this palette. It has, like, the berry tones. It has the purples, a, a killer orange. And it's, like, you could get very wearable looks out of this, obviously. And I use wearable in a very, like, wearable sense. You can get work-appropriate looks, you know, stuff like that. But then you can amp it up totally with this purple, with these berries. This, like, like I said, this surprised me. This beat Modern Renaissance for me, which was shocking. Like, this beats all other warm tone palettes because the formula is phenomenal. They are such pigmented shadows. The foils are so nice. And the hype's real. This is just such a good palette. The fact that Color Rain thought they could get away making this limited edition is nonsense. And I'm so glad that they realized they needed to make this permanent because it's totally worth, like, the 50 plus price tag. It's such a good pigmented shadow. If I need a neutrals palette, this is the one I want. Again, I'm actually kind of shocked at my fourth pick because it... Ju I'm just going to show you guys. ABH Subculture. I love this palette. I love this palette. There's nothing like this palette. Oops, sorry, I'm lying, you guys. I get the controversy even though, like, for controversies of the world, most things that upset me in the land of makeup are, like, people getting excluded and owners acting crazy on social media. So the fact that this was as controversial as it was, get your priorities straight, people. I love this palette. I don't own pretty much anything like this. And when it came out, that's why I, I, I had to have it when it came out. The second I saw pictures of it, it wasn't even a question that I was buying this because I didn't own anything in my collection like it. And I think now a lot of companies co have come out with, I will say the word dupe, but I mean knockoff because of how much people love these colors but hated the formula. 
I love this formula. It's very pigmented. I don't have any issues using it. You can actually see me and my best friend create two very different looks on each other using the same exact palette in my best friends and I switch makeup routines video. But I just love this. Again, earthy tones. I never realized that I love deep earthy tones. And I just, I don't know, I've never, again, I've never come up with a bad look with this palette and I have nothing like it and I love it so much. And then my fifth and final pick for favorite eyeshadow palettes is a total scan to the system and I couldn't, and by system I mean my own system because I couldn't pick just one palette and I'm cheating and I'm sorry, but this is my video and I will do what I want in it. I'm cheating because I could not pick one Juvia's Place palette to include in this list. I knew that a Juvia's Place palette was going to be in my top five. I can't pick. I can't pick. How do you pick between all of your children to pick a favorite? You can't. They're all my babies and I can feel you judging me, but I'm gonna need you to stop. I love Juvia's Place so much. I own every single Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette. That was a really long extended way to say eyeshadow palette. I couldn't pick, out of all of them though, I picked four, so all of, I know I'm using up one spot for four eyeshadow palettes, but again, I've, I'm creating these rules and I will break them however I want. I'm probably going to do a palette series video completely dedicated to Juvia's Place, but just know I could not give up the Saharan palette, I could not give up the Nubian 2, and I really could not pick between the Magic Palette and the Masquerade Palette. I, mm -mm. First of all, I always love the packaging. I love that everything is inspired by a different African culture. I love that Juvia's Place picks colors inspired by that that create these amazing palettes with these always gorgeous people on them. I love it. I love that they are such an inclusive brand. They make very pigmented eyeshadows that are meant to look good on everybody. Their metallic formula is unlike any other. I love it so much. I can't find a fault in Juvia's Place. I can't. Other than maybe I don't believe they have a return policy. I don't. They're so good. And they're so affordable. They're so affordable. Like their Warrior palettes have, I don't even, they haven't even shown us what the insides look like. But I know I'm going to buy them. I love them so much. I'm holding up the Magic palette. This is, if you love cooler tones, if you love greens and blues, this is like how to get that warm tone palette with greens and blues pops of green and blue trend that's happening right now in a very awesome way because you get two full rows of awesome blues and greens in the magic palette you also get this really amazing like gold yellow you get this awesome brick orange like it, you, there's a, just enough warm tones to make this like a user-friendly palette but I feel like if you like colorful makeup and you don't know where to start with colorful makeup I'm going to recommend you Juvia's Place for the price for the ease of use everything the Masquerade palette. This is what sold me on Juvia's Place. I saw Nikki Tutorials use this and I had to have it. If This is this is really poppy. Again, you get those neutrals that make it user friendly for beginners and stuff. Then you get like the best pink, the best purple, the best aqua blue, like a green. You can use these as highlighters. They're so good. And then really thinking about like which palettes from Juvia's Place do I reach from the most. The Saharan and Nubian 2. Nubian 2 again, I never realized that I had like an eyeshadow type, like an eye, I never realized I had an eyeshadow palette type. Earth tones. I love earth tones. I've come to the realization I love earth tones. Again, has your green and blue. You can get that cool pop of color trend that's happening right now. Has a, I love like dirty golds that kind of have like brownish green undertones. They got one. They have an orange. They have browns. They have this awesome purple shade. Love it. And then the Saharan might be the one that I like the most. If like you're forcing me, you're like, Lacey, this is top five. Pick five palettes. Fine. Then it's everything I said and the Saharan. Another earth tone palette. I have a type. I have a type and I'm in love with them. This red, this orange, it has a pink. It has another pink has this, again, this dirty kind of bronzy gold shade. This is like my favorite color on the planet. This is literally my favorite eyeshadow color on the absolute planet. I'm not gonna, I was gonna say the name and I respect this palette and this brand too much to butcher the name of this color. But it's that kind of dirty bronze color that I like. <laughs> Nothing beats Juvia's Place Metallics. They have such a creamy, pigmented, perfect formula. It's my perfect 
perfect eyeshadow formula ever. They're so easy to work with. I've spent probably 10 minutes raving about just one brand. I, I, even now I'm like, do I really think the Saharan is my favorite? Maybe it's the Masquerade. I, I'm, I'm including all of Juvia's Place as one entity and they take up my space for my top five. And then I was gonna include like a bunch of honorable mentions in this video, but looking down at it, I think every palette in my pile of like things I really love, I can include in a different topic of the palette series. So I do want to save some of them for different videos. But one last honorable mention, again, this is my video and my rules. The ColourPop My Little Pony palette is like a staple for me. I love this palette. I love, like Juvia's Place, I love all ColourPop eyeshadows. I think they're another phenomenal formula. I, probably just in my top five formulas they would exist. But I absolutely love this palette. I reach for it probably more often than you think I would. I love the kind of creamsicle colors. I love this green and this green. Oh my gosh. This looks like a black, but it's actually a very deepened, like, plummy purple. I love it. It has, like, neutral, but I honestly don't consider this a neutral palette. This is very, like, whimsical. This is the most colorful palette they've released. I'm, like, desperately waiting for the rainbow goth palette of my dreams from ColourPop, even though I realize they sell singles and I can make it myself. But I just, this, I think I mentioned this orange already. I'm just in love with this palette. I, plus, this My Little Pony, this version of My Little Pony is the My Little Pony that I grew up with. I had these ponies. Like, I had these specific pony toys that were hand-me-downs for my sister. This is, this was nostalgia in a box. Like, this... I would have, like, it makes it better. I would have bought this palette regardless because I love these colors, but I, I just, it's perfect. I love this, this mossy green. I love this mossy green. I love this purple. And really, it only has these, like, three warmer shades to me. Like, I don't, ooh, this is like a dual chrome white blue. Oh, this is good. This is my technically sixth favorite in a land of what was supposed to be a top five. I'm sorry. I, I've said it before and I've said it again. I've never claimed to have chill. I'm covered in eyeshadow, but with that, I'm concluding my top five slash more eyeshadow palettes video. I want to thank Alex again so much for climbing with me. I love you, Alex. Definitely check out her channel if you haven't already. I All good things. I love her channel so much. She deserves more subscribers. I'm pushing you to go check her out. But yeah, this was everything. If you have, rec like, what theme you want next for a palette series video, like if you have a brand you want me to talk about, or a color story, or like specifics, like affordability, high-end, luxury, whatever, leave it down below so I know what to do next. I've been accumulating, like, topic ideas for the future. But yeah, thank you, Alex. Thank you, you guys. Subscribe, hit like. Talk me down below what are your top five favorite eyeshadow palettes. I would love to know. Also, side note, if you like my videos, and I feel like weird saying this, but hit the notification button so you make sure you're seeing them. I've noticed like a dip in interaction, and I know a lot of creators have been saying there's been a dip in their interactions. I think YouTube is like kicking up the algorithm problems and making it so you're not seeing everyone's videos again. So, not even for my sake, like, make sure, one, that in your settings you're seeing videos in chronological order and not just highlights, and two, that not even just me, any of your favorite creators you're hitting the notification bell for so that you're seeing everyone's videos. I think something weird's happening with YouTube again. I didn't believe it was a real phenomenon until I became a creator. But yeah, tell me your favorite palettes down below, tell me your suggestions for different palette series videos, go check out Alex, and I will see you guys in my next video. <sighs> Whew, I tried to get through this fast, but I know I didn't. Huh.